Hello everybody, today we're going to install a vast antivirus software. It's a uh, free software uh, that's available uh, on the internet. Uh, basically, uh, it's, it's got a trial period of 30 days before you have to register uh, the software, but registering is also free and all it requires really is your, your uh, uh, email address and then you're good for another 365 days of uh, uninterrupted free antivirus software and uh, even at the end of three, 365 days all you need to do to continue the the uh, use of this uh, great software is to uh, re-register the software and it will ask you and tell you anyway but it's fully functional and it's uh, quite great uh, software so let's go and get it uh, first off I have to turn on my uh, network card basically I don't think any any computer should be on the internet without uh, proper antivirus software and so this is why I'm showing you this uh, it's part of my whole internet security Windows security uh, uh, suite of videos that I'm making okay so now we're on the internet let's open up the browser that's another thing too if you only have one browser installed inside your uh, uh, system I would suggest that you install two just in case something happens to the Internet Explorer you have a backup that you can go on the internet with and look for a solution or surf the net anyhow sometimes you get uh, browser hijacks that uh, only affect one of the browsers and it's nice to have a backup so let's go get a vast I have the link here I'll supply the link in the uh, description because I'm sure it's going to be a lot easier to read than this one um, so here's the Avast download page as you can see Avast free antivirus so we'll click on that it shows you the steps so I'm gonna save the file and when you save the file it comes up here okay I fast forwarded to here uh, just to make this video a little shorter. After you're done downloading the software, we're going to install it. And as you can see, there's all the steps to install it is right there. So let's go do that. Uh, my computer is uh, basically asking me for permission to do this. And I'm going to say yes. This may not show up in the video, but if it, it beeps at this point, it's going to ask you. Just say yes. And there's a custom install where you can uh, change the parameters, like where it's going to install, what it's going to install, and so on and so forth. Um, it's up to you if you want to use that, but I'm just going to use the express install. I like the default settings. Oh, one more thing. Uh, if you look down here on the bottom left of the box, you'll see install Google Chrome web browser and uh, make Google Chrome my de default browser. Now, if you need a second browser installed in your machine, I suggest just leave that on there. Uh, that way you'll have Internet Explorer and another backup browser just in case Internet Explorer stops working. Otherwise, just uncheck it. I don't need it. I already have uh, Firefox, so uh, we're just going to go uh, uncheck that and then go Express Install. And there you go. It begins to install. I may fast forward this. Uh, I, I will fast forward this. Okay, we're at the registration point. Um, it says now you have 30 days of protection. During the next couple of weeks, we'll prompt you to register for the free version or purchase a premium protection. Now, it will work without you registering for 30 days. After that, it's going to force you to register. And all registration means is that you're going to give them your email address and uh, I believe your name and at that point once you do that and successfully register the program will run for another 365 days uh, updating the virus and engine when it's necessary all by itself you can actually force it to do so as well uh, but it, it remains free now the difference between the, the, the free version and the premium protection is that the free version is just antivirus and anti-spyware 
The premium is a whole security suite. So it's up to you whether you buy it or not. Uh, click here next. Said so setup is finished. So I'm going to click finish. Close my browser out here. Okay. So at this point, you'll have an Avast free antivirus software. Uh, link on your desktop and it will probably be running down here as well and yes it welcome is welcome to Avast okay there you go and it's gonna run a quick uh, uh, a quick scan of your computer I suggest that after you're done the startup scan that you do a full computer scan just to make sure you're clean and uh, everything's good Scan has been completed. Okay, so it didn't find any threats. That's a good thing. Let's open it up. And I, I would say the first thing to do here is uh, do a software update. I'm sure it's doing it currently anyway, but let's go here. Oh, sorry, not software update. Let's go back to uh, antivirus. There we go. Go to antivirus. You'll have the full scan there. Um, so we'll start that. But uh, I, I like updating the software first. So let's see. Try to remember where that is. There it is. Under maintenance, uh, update engine and definitions. Make sure you got the latest. I mean, if you're going to do a full scan, you might as well have the latest signatures. A vast virus database has been updated. Okay, that's great. And let's make sure we got the latest program. So we have the signatures up on top here. And the engine and definitions down here um, so it's all all up to date so let's go back to security and antivirus and then we'll start a full scan once you're done the full scan if it all checks out that's great if it doesn't then uh, I would suggest that uh, you fix whatever it, it, it's, it's found take it out delete it or neutralize it in any way the program tells you to uh, let's go up to register Okay, so you got three options, upgrade and save, upgrade and save. You have the pro, and here's all the differences in, in, in the um, versions. And I'm staying with the free version, but it's up to you what you, what you run. Uh, by the way, this software has been loaded and installed in 170 million computers. So it's pretty uh, pervasive. Okay, and uh, I'm going to enter my name and email in here okay so I've entered my information in and at this point um, I'm registered I won't have a problem it will update uh, the engine and definitions for the next uh, 365 days at which point I'll have to re uh, register again for another 365 days so it's a pretty good deal free software great uh, antivirus and spyware uh, suite um, rock and roll. All right, we'll close this up. And as you can see in the back, registration information, current registration will expire, blah, 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 365 days remaining. Okay? And if you wanted to upgrade, you just insert your license file in here. So, uh, that's it. That's how you get free antivirus software into your Windows 7 or Vista machine. Uh, actually works for XP as well if you're still running that. All right. Thank you very much for watching.